Hi, this is just a short update on the progress so far on the laser cutter. As you can see I've got some changes made already. Nothing too critical though. Now the first thing is that I've got this tray in here. It's just some bended sheet metal um, that I painted black. And then I've got this energy chain which is just screwed in to this profile here. And this kind of keeps all the cables nice and tidy. And I've got this, well, pretty much the only cable that's running through here is this limit switch. Um, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you this in a few seconds. Um, this is for the homing of this x-axis. And I've got this kind of um, tube in here. That's just for the air, but you won't use that for a long time. Then as you can see I've got these two um, sheets done here and I've actually got the other sheets over there as you can see but um, I won't screw them on now because that would just make the whole assembly of this thing pretty much impossible. So I've just done these two. Also I've got the uh, acrylic here. This should protect against the laser beam as soon as this is closed. And I've got a handle on here that's 3D printed and the control panel is here. Okay, I'm now on the side of the laser. So you can see I've got a handle on here. This is just a load loading port for the material. I can just close this. And so this is the switch for the laser. Nothing too special here. Now probably the most uh, significant change I've made over the few uh, last few weeks is well, this Arduino here. This um, controls this big heavy stepper motor here which controls the uh, x-axis, oh sorry, the table lift mechanism. I've actually had a um, episode on this table lift mechanism. And you can control this not via this pad here, but using this linear potentiometer. So you can see when you put this up, you can lift it and when it down, you can actually um, lower the table. And this sounds all weird, but it's working pretty perfect. The only thing is that this sheet metal is kind of rattling around. I need to put a few more screws in there so it doesn't make these rattling sounds. And this kind of this kind of uh, control wouldn't have been possible using this old controller over there. So I used an Arduino. And I may actually use this Arduino for other tasks in here, maybe detecting how far the material is um, away from the nozzle, so I can actually do some kind of automatic um, table feed, which would be pretty nice, but I mean that's uh, in the future. Also I've put these uh, reinforcement bars for the table for the legs and now it's pretty sturdy. That whole thing really um, wanted to vibrate before I did that and this just gives this uh, whole thing a lot more rigidity. Oh yeah, and I've uh, kind of zip tied the water bucket under there. And as soon as, got, as soon as I've got the laser tube over there, I can just hook the water pump up to the laser and then we've got some active water cooling, which is absolutely mandatory for CO2 lasers. Okay, so I've closed the lid. As you can see, I've got the acrylic um, screwed on here. And now we can just go to this pad. Let me just focus there. Then I can go to datum, which is basically home the machine. And now, well, the only axis I've got hooked up so far is the x-axis. And this one will now move until it's uh, found its home position, or basically as soon as this switch is uh, activated. And yeah, that may 
take a little while, so I'll speed that up. And as you can see, the energy chain really keeps the cables in one place. And there it goes. Tick. And now the X axis is homed. Just a little comment over here. I will put in a few more brackets for the energy chain so this will not look like this when it's finished. Okay, and as you can see, I can just move this axis as I want to. So that's really nice. So that's basically it. I've uh, done pretty much nothing else. Just some small changes here and there. I can't really continue making this uh, as long as the big Y-axis linear rail hasn't arrived. So I guess that's it. See ya.